Well, here's an interesting setup. I got this little reed switch pulse motor out here on my patio being run by a homemade solar powered thermoelectric generator. And that's a black rock inside a little aluminum dish. That's a wet sponge. And I'm using a felt hay module that normally is used for cooling, like in coolers or computers. And I'm running it backwards to make electricity. And what it is is uh, it's just like a greenhouse. Heats up in here, it's cooled down under there, and you end up with an electric generator. And this is being run backwards to the way it normally runs, but it makes electricity this way. And this is what she's putting out. Not much. It's about 9 milliamps, though. And this little uh, pulse motor will run on the low voltage if you give it enough amperage. And uh, I've got a LED under here that I've covered up so I don't get any uh, input from the sun from the LED. And the rotor is uh, just a lid. And that's a brass flathead screw. And thanks, Dick, for the recommendation of using brass. That made all the difference on the bearing surface there. And that makes this uh, friction go down to the point where it, uh, it works very good on the low power, which is what I've got going on here. Let me flip this over to the milliamps. I'll show you the milliamps. This is on a dead short. And you can see i got about 11 milliamps. The motor only takes about one. So I'm way over on the volt uh, amperage. But the um, voltage, uh, it takes a... 100 millivolts to make the motor run. So this little generator um, on a sunny day um, works quite nicely. And like I say, it's just a felt hay module. This is not a thermoelectric uh, module, uh, except uh, in that I'm using it backwards. Normally this is for cooling, and I'm using it for a, uh, a generator. Um, and it works. As long as you can differentiate that enough, and you have uh, a device that will work on that type of energy, you can use it. That's my little uh, thermoelectric solar-powered pulse motor with a generator attached. Thanks for watching.